Hi, Michelle. Hi there. How are you ladies doing today? We're good. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Now, where are you both originally from? Toronto. Canada. Really? Yeah. And is that where you still live now? Yes. Now, tell me a little bit about your educational background. Educational background. Oh, go ahead, uh, Kitty. I was actually a social worker uh, pre-motherhood, if you will, for many, for, it's what I did from high school, basically. I was a child and youth worker, and then I became a social worker. I have two degrees, and that's that. And was I can't tell if that was Cat or Nat speaking. That and, was Cat. And, and, and what about Nat? Well, I learned through life. I learned everything I know through from the, me. From me. Yeah. Okay. Now, you both are moms. Uh, tell me a little bit about your family. Yeah, we've got seven kids under the age of nine. We have husbands, too. Uh, she's got four kids. I've got three kids. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Busy mom. Yes, we are. So tell me about Mom Truth, please. Uh -huh. Oh, that's our original series that we... Um, where we share really in a in a funny way the the real side of motherhood, if you will. Uh, I don't, it's just a, it's just a place where we often have an experience, and I'm like, it's the place where you know you want to call someone, like you'll never guess what happened, and then it's like it just comes out. Overshare, so. no filter, mom life. Yeah. Well, where can people see you now? What is the stuff that you guys are working on now? So, well, actually, we are at Cat and Nat across the board everywhere, but we also do fabulous things like partner with Nutrigrain, and they have been, um, they have a whole campaign where it's called Real Morning, and that's really what Mum Truth is, and that's what our whole platform is about, is just getting out this message that none of us are perfect, none of us, uh, we always have mishaps, but we love our children, they love us. We might not have a frittata and a smash avocado toast for breakfast, but we get a breakfast bar in their mouth, clothes on and out the door to school. We're winning. Well, what stresses you guys out most about back to school time? Mostly the mornings, honestly, the back children. to school and the hecticness of my house in the morning. Four little people and a husband trying to get dressed, get their bags packed, manage the emotions, get all the stress done, get all the forms filled, make sure they have the shoes they wanted, you know, all the things. Trying not to yell, mm -hmm. smiling. Now, what are some things people can do to make uh, mornings a little easier? We like to say, just take the pressure off. You know, I think that we really have this high standard, and and it is outrageous that we put these resolutions on ourselves. Absolutely. Like, uh, Nutrigrain actually surveyed moms and dads about back-to-school resolutions, and 84% of them said that they actually make these resolutions, but most of them, within the first few weeks, have totally ditched them because they're just not realistic, and we totally fall into that category. We're like, mm, this year we're going to, you know, wake up early, have coffee early, and get everything organized. But at the end of the day, you just need to make sure they're dressed, give them a Nutrigrain bar, it'll give them the energy they need, and send them on their way. Well, tell us about these new Nutrigrain bars. Uh, well, they're not new, but they are delicious. They are delicious. And uh, really, they are, they, are, they are what make us feel good in the morning. And if we can get the energy in, we're talking real fruit, we're taste, taste delicious. And for us, it's just about just getting them, like often it's on the way to school. They're walking across the street and we're like, eat, 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 because they dawdle. Kids are doddlers. They're professional doddlers. They like to waste time. And you, you have all morning, and then you're like, I have three minutes to get you ready. We've had all morning. What happened to this morning? Well, tell us some of your own personal trials and tribulations in the morning, because everyone can relate to these kind of moments. <laughs> oh, gosh. There are just so many, and they happen every single day. Kat's got a good one. Oh, I, okay. Yeah. I'll share it, because why not? That's what I do is I overshare. I, I, I went to school. I volunteered at my, my daughter's school in kindergarten, and I walked in, and she's sitting on the carpet in a dress, and lo and behold, she's got no underwear on. And I cross -legged. was like, cross-legged, and I was like, no, 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 no. Not my daughter. No, this isn't happening. Uh, so we do an underwear check every morning, if you will, now. I'm like, all the girls in dresses, who's got their underwear on? But basically, it's a triumph <laughs> when we get these kids out of the house at all. With we, underwear on. We With underwear on. I mean, the boys don't have to. The girls' dresses, yes. We give, we give ourselves a high five, and we encourage other moms to celebrate just getting out of the house, which is also part of the campaign for Nutrigrain is hashtag real morning, where you share your stories about how it really goes down. And that's basically what we're, that's what we're all about is sharing the truth. Now, how, how can these moms share their stories? 
You just hashtag Real Morning. You can also come visit us at Cat and At. We overshare daily, all day, every day. Uh, and we call it a gift. I'm um, joking. Uh, we, uh, yeah, just, and you can also go to Nutrigrain, Nutrigrain's Facebook, and you can see all the things there, too. How do you like people to connect with you? We are on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We are on tour right now, going across America, and we have a ten day, um, oh, a ten day stint coming up September twenty first, and then another eight days in November. So you can go to catnat.ca to find out everything you need to know about Catnat. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Well, is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, just thanks for having us, Michelle. And good luck to all the moms out there for back to school. Don't be too hard on yourself. They love you, and you love them. That's all that matters. Thank you very much. These are great tips. I hope you guys have a great tour here. Thank Thanks, you. Michelle.